Welcome to Weekly Digest, where we highlight the works of ministers of government as they push the administration's development agenda. Region 6 will undergo massive infrastructural development as it pertains to drainage and irrigation for farmers. During an outreach to the region, Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa outlined the plans for the region in 2024. This year in Region 6, you'll see three Hope Lake Canal being constructed. One at number 51, 52 area, another on the, in the uh, Bengal area, and one within the Wim Letterkenny area. We'll do an embankment from number 66 right on to the Kanji. With the establishment of pump stations in these canals, Minister Mustafa said the water from the backlands will not flood the cultivation areas. He added that the contracts for these projects will be out very shortly. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Senior Counsel Anil Nandlal, is calling on the Mayor and City Council to discharge its statutory mandate as it pertains to keeping the city clean. The AG made this call on Saturday during the National Cleanup Campaign, where he was at the Kingston Seawall participating in the exercise. The City Council, I want to take this opportunity to point out that the Georgetown Mayor and City Council is, at the end of the day, the statutory body with the responsibility and duty to clean the city. And they have been abysmally negligent in the discharge of those duties and obligations. I want to use this opportunity to call upon the Georgetown Mayor and City Council to discharge their statutory mandate. They receive income, they receive rates, they receive taxes. They receive subvention from the government to get this place clean. Minister Nand Lal said government periodically had to team up with agencies and private entities to perform a duty that already belonged to someone else. As Guyana aims to provide justice swifter and eliminate any backlog of court cases, nine new magistrates were on Wednesday morning sworn in by Prime Minister Brigadier Retired Mark Phillips. They are... Omadat Chandan, Tamika Clark, Abigail Gibbs, Tuana Hardy, Shivani Lalaram, Michelle Matthias, Ravinder Mohabir, Tariq Mohammed, and Orinthia Smith. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the people of Guyana, that I will faithfully execute the office of temporary magistrate without fear or favor, affection or ill will and that in the execution of the functions of that office, that I will honor, uphold, and preserve the constitution of the cooperative republic of Guyana. Prime Minister Phillips told the new magistrates that their new office is important to Guyana and urged them to be fair, efficient, and effective in the execution of their duties. And I wish to, first of all, advise that you must accord the highest priority to this portfolio which requires objectivity, neutrality. This is a portfolio that prohibits you from being influenced by any other consideration other than the evidence and the law before you. Several cabinet ministers took to the streets to participate in the Mashramani festivities. They all alluded to the massive support this year's event has gotten. Well, this year Mashramani festivities, uh, notwithstanding all that is happening in Guyana, I'm heartened by the fact that people came out in their large numbers, right, to view the um, bands and to participate in the bands. You notice a lot of bands have costumes, but then equally, there's a t-shirt section of the band. For example, I'm in my, the t-shirt section of my band. So there you go, participation, wonderful. I think this year we have more bands than we did last year. And you know, coming out of COVID, I think it's getting better every year. So we are very excited as the Ministry of Local Government and Regional Development to be out here participating. We have a lot of revelers. We chose to go white today because we know everybody else is going to go with a lot of colors. So we're out here having a lot of fun. This year is sparkly, bright and bigger. If you see us here at housing, we have grown too. And there's a lot to celebrate this year. Every year, we've been celebrating more. And that's the same, we keep it in spirit here. Yeah, I think this year is much bigger than last year. 
and you will see it growing as we move along. As our country is on the rise and more of our people are enjoying a better life today. I'm very confident and I'm very optimistic that our float, what we are depicting, will caught the attention of the judges and I think that we are in for a very good price this year. But that, saying that, we are also showcasing the potential of Guyana, the crops that we used to produce and the new crops, corn, soya, and wheat. We are going to wheat, we look at livestock and all the agriculture output that we are producing, we have depicted here. And if you look at it, these loads, it's very, very uh, revealing what we are doing. This brings us to the end of this edition of Weekly Digest. For these and other government-related stories, do log on to our website at dpi.gov.gy and our social media platforms as well. Goodbye.